Hi everybody, this is Christine, and I thought I would take the Fire Emblem Heroes discourse in a different direction, because the uh, the two things the, the two things currently on my mind right now are whatever the new banner for Fire Emblem Heroes is, and wedding planning. Uh, I thought I would do some wedding dress research because, to be honest, I've been doing a lot of looking on Pinterest and the internet and Googling stuff. And I think it's just all very confusing. So what I thought I would do is I thought that I would take a little bit of a journey through the history of Fire Emblem Heroes bridal alts, all of whom are here and all of whom are very different depending on their personalities or just how they work. And I thought that I would um, get an idea of how I feel about them and if I saw a dress like that at the store would I drop everything to try it on so maybe maybe this will be a good video maybe it won't but either way I think it'll be educational for me so first off we have a year one alt the one that everybody thought wouldn't get the original character but we just got the original character this is Charlotte so um so Charlotte looks like she's wearing a ball gown, um, but there's something kind of interesting happening over here where like this actual slip is shorter than the rest of it. So we have this sort of illusion thing happening here covering her shoes. And then this is sort of drop. It's, it's like, it, it's not like her natural waist is here. It's a little bit dropped. It's got this sort of skirt coat thing happening. And we've got a big spoon, which is the weapon, and then we got the veil. So this is one of those things where I'm just sort of like, it's nice, but it's not mine. Because I think, I think what I'm sort of getting at here is I think that this area, these sort of feather things, I feel like that would be really bulky. And honestly, that makes me think that this character is a flying unit and she isn't. I know she's infantry. So it's just, it's very strange. She's sort of, she's, she's in a weird sort of ether for me. I think if somebody, if somebody I knew, if, if I was a bridesmaid for somebody and I saw the bride I was doing that for picking out this dress, I'd be like, well, more power to you. Not many people could pull that off. And I think it would be you and Charlotte from Fire Emblem Heroes. So good on you, Charlotte. You're doing great. And Honestly, like I'm, I'm still looking at it. Like I think it's a fascinating look. I just think it might not necessarily, I think it looks heavy. It looks very, very heavy. And it's heavy in a way that her, her costume, like her OG costume for the, her original version that just came out like a month ago, isn't. So, but I do think it suits her and her personality. So, moving on. Cordelia. So basically Cordelia's got a similar situation as uh, Charlotte here. She's got this sort of feathery overcoat thing. She's got this, she's got like a slip that's way shorter than the actual skirt. Um, she's got these sleeves and I'm, I gotta say, I can't stand sleeves like that. I hate the sleeves when they don't connect to the, to the outfit at large. That being said though, if you eliminate the sleeves, I actually love this. I think this is really, it looks really light and really pretty, but it also has like the volume and it has like this detail down here that Charlotte's dress just doesn't have. So honestly, what I would do for a dress like this, I would eliminate the sleeves and the sleeves aren't like the point. And honestly, I feel like the sleeves get in the way of the sort of bow user thing anyway. And I like that this doesn't have a veil. Honestly, I think this is great. And I also think that this is sort of like a convertible skirt where you would just sort of put on this big ceremonial thing for a ceremony and then you would drop it and have this sort of knee high thing for the reception. And I think that's actually a really cool way to do it. And that seems practical in a way that Cordelia is practical. So honestly, this is a good look for her. So this is Sheeta and, um, Anybody who knows me and who knows like the characters that I have plus 10, I have a plus 10 Sheeta. I love Sheeta, but I can't stand this version of Sheeta. I think she looks, she looks too anime girl in a way that is, it's kind of off putting for me. She has a similar sort of scourge to the other two. I think the year one brides, I think they just sort of did very conventional 
dress conventional ball gown dresses for them if anything she's sort of wearing a very similar thing that cordelia is but this is sort of like all the things that i don't like about cordelia's outfit plus everything with charlotte's outfit both good and bad they just threw it on Tashita. and i i just it's too bulky it's too bulky there's just there's a lot of different rufflies happening and you know i just I don't care for it. I wish I cared for it because I love Sheeta, but honestly, I'm glad I've never pulled for her. I actually don't have any of the year one bridal units. So that's, um, I don't have Sheeta, I don't have Cordelia, I don't have Charlotte, and I just, no, no, no thank you. No thank you. I think if the, um, I think if the wedding dress attendant came up to me with this dress, I think I'd be like, oh, it's nice, but it's not mine. So I think the thing about Bridal Lynn is that from what I understand, she's the only one who's actually still viable as a unit today because of candlelight. And she's viable in a way that Bridal Cordelia, well, uh, but Bridal Sheeta and Bridal Charlotte and to a lesser extent Bridal Cordelia isn't. Because I know Bridal Cordelia still has her uses, but Bridal Lynn is still like a thing. And I don't have Bridal Lynn. I don't care for any of these units that much. And I do think that Bridal Lynn as an elf like her dress works in a way that she just doesn't it has that overcoat thing it's got the tears that i don't like it's the top is basically the same she's got those she got those detachable sleeves that i hate uh her veil i don't even really like it but i think all together it works in a way that she just outfit doesn't and i think out of all the year ones cordelia's if, if there's a big floofy ball gown in my future the big, the big floofy ball gown that I would go for would be Cordelia, but I'm sure there's another big floofy ball gown in here that I like better. I actually don't know. Uh, I have a, I have some of the bridal units, but I don't have all of them. The year one units, I'm just not super familiar with. Uh, I'm not even really sure what candlelight does, but I do think this is a really cute look for Lynn. Um, I like that it's like a T-length dress for her. I don't think that's right for me personally, but I do like it on her. It, it seems practical in a way that Lynn is practical. And like even and I like that it's it's different from Cordelia's and it's different from Sheeta's and it's different from Charlotte's and they're all different and they're all but they're all ball gowns. They're all ball gowns, but they're all distinct. So I do think that whoever does these bridal banners, like whoever does the art for the bridal banners, I know it's multiple people, I they must work together to make sure that they all look cohesive together, but they all look reasonably different and i think that's good all right so di the difference for me between the year one and the year two banners is that i actually have every single year two bridal unit including sanaki and I, I i i know that i know this unit was a like, controversial because she's a kid and i actually thought it was a little bit like yucky because the radiant dawn version is right there and it's probably way more um, conducive to something like this that being said though like from what i understand the bridal festival is like a thing in japan i'm not sure what it's for but i do know that's like a thing and if little kids dress up like brides and i remember being like the second grade and little girls are dressing up like brides so that's like a halloween costume for them so i'm not mad at it but at the same time, oh no, I don't like this dress. I don't like this dress. I think it's I think it's bulky. That that bow, this bow right here is is killing me. This is definitely like a costume version of a bridal outfit. This is definitely like this is something that you would put a kid in if they wanted to dress up like a bride. So this is not a bridal dress. This is not for me. No no. Sorry, Sanaki. Alright, so Tharja. Tharja, we're back to the big ball gowns, but instead of it being this very classic ball gown, we have this sort of Panina Torne black number. And we, ha we, we've we returned to tradition here with these big feather things and this over, this over skirt with this really thin, um, like main skirt here, but we still have this like plegia, this like plegia aesthetic happening with this front thing. Because I think it's supposed to be like, oh, it's a ball gown, but you're also going to have thigh slits and an exposed belly. And I would, I think for me, I would want to try a dress like this on just to see if I could pull it off and then just sort of take it off and be slightly depressed that I can't. But that being said, though, I would not be upset with that sort of top 
because her her boobies look great and i and, and what kind of dress would it be if my boobies did not look great in a dress also i think out of all of the bouquets i've seen so far tharja's is my favorite that is gorgeous and i actually used to use bridal tharja every so often and part of the reason why i loved her was because of that bouquet that being said said though that dress ain't for me that's a lot Okay, so Ninian's, um, Ninian's dress, the, her overall look as of right now is my favorite because she's got these, she's got these detachable sleeves, which I hate, but because I think because of the way that she's holding the bouquet, I don't notice that right away. That being said though, I think if I were to get this dress, I'd immediately remove the sleeve. The sleeves are just not good. Uh, I love this veil. This veil is so pretty. And this is also the first dress we've seen so far that is not a ball gown. And I actually enjoy ball gowns. Ball gowns are not a thing that bother me, but that, but like this one actually shows off her body a bit. And this thing isn't like this big bulky feather thing. It's more like, oh, it, it's more delicate looking. And honestly, I really like this outfit. I, I would actually, out of all the dresses I've seen so far, if like the Kleinfeld lady or the David's bridal lady wanted to show me this dress first, I would immediately be like, okay, cool. I would definitely want to try this on. And also I think Ninian, Ninian in this bridal outfit is sort of making me realize I might actually want Techni color hair for my wedding. I've gone back and forth about if I wanted my hair to be rose gold for the, for the wedding, because I wear my hair in different colors now, but the general consensus from everybody who loves me seems to be, don't do that. Wear your natural hair. And this is Ninian's natural hair. So I'm like, I'm being, I'm being attracted to the color, but also that's her natural hair. She didn't do anything to it. So maybe natural is best. And I think the reason why I like this outfit is because it's very natural. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not overly embellished, but it's also really different. And also I like that the, the way that the, the veil is, it's sort of, implies color even though i'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be colorful i really like this look this this is a plus and also uh, a fun fact about me i actually thought i built an amazing forma bridal ninian so i actually bought the bridal ninian and that was a mistake because what i wanted to do was fodder the 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 forma the forma ninian to leo for dd uh, for de for distant defense four but I wasn't able to do that. So I ended, So what I need to do is I need to give the, the, the Foreman Indian trait fruit and then throw my couple of copies into that. And I think that might be the way to do it. So I like Ninian. Ninian is great. Uh, out of all of the year ones and the year twos, Ninian is my favorite. Louise. Okay. Honestly, now that we're actually looking at all the bridal units together, a huge theme with them is these detachable, stupid sleeves and this weird feather overskirt. Cause it's like the overskirt and then like this other skirt cape and then the skirt and then this other thing. This sort of looks like an A-line version of what, um, of what Sheeta is wearing. A Sheeta or Lynn is wearing only without the tears. And I think that the tears here would be too much, but I like the braid. I like uh, I like that little like little baby veil she's got in. I think the um, the bow and the um, like the bow in the back, the bow in her hand, all the flowers. It looks beautiful. Um, I apologize to you, Louise, because when you came out in Tempest Trials, I basically got you to level forty and then threw both of my copies into my Setsuna so I could get the uh, the bond and the bond that she has and the bow. So uh, my set soon a Rambu Cabo for a good for a good long while, but I think that one thing that I love about Louise's that I haven't seen on anybody else so far, like Nini and I thought had some color in her outfit, but she but like it's more of like the implication of color. Louise has this dip dye thing at the bottom, and my uh, my bridesmaids like my 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 bridal party they're kind of sick of me right now because the dresses that I've been falling in love with online have this dip dye effect to them. But that's going to be more money. That might be more difficult to get. I don't know if uh, many bridal boutiques are doing that. I might have to go to somebody special after my dress is done and have somebody dip dye it in the color of my choice. That being said, though, I like this outfit. Uh, remove the sleeves for me. 
and this might be a, this might compete with Ninian as like an overall look that I like the best. Bridal Fjorm. There is a there is a clear return to uh, big feathered overskirts, and um and stupid short veils, and um one thing that I think that works for Fjorm that doesn't work for someone like for me for someone like Sheeta or someone like Charlotte is that she's got these um is that these feathers seem to work for her because Sheeta and Charlotte they're infantry. Fjorm, Bridal Fjorm, to my knowledge, is flying, so the feathers make more sense. Also, I love that it sort of brings it back to the ice. We got, like, more ice stuff, and we also have this more, this dip dye thing at the bottom. I love that. And on and the, the detachable sleeves here on her are... All right, they still annoy me, but they're not as bothersome because they actually look like they would attach to the outfit somehow. So A plus Fjorm. I don't think I would wear this. Like, I don't think I would wear this in the way that I would wear Ninian's or that I might wear Louise's. But more power to anyone who could wear that. So this is a bridal Sig Sigrin? Sigran. And again, we um, more detachable sleeves, more tiny veils, more feather overskirts. There's a lot of... I. Is I now have to wonder is the is the feathered overskirt part of the Japanese bridal fashion? I don't know. But that being said, um, I like her bouquet. Her bouquet is cute. Um, I appreciate that she gets a bouquet along with her physical weapon because Louise uh, seems to have the the bouquet as her bow, and I feel like that worked really well for her. But Ninian, because she was a mage, she got to have flowers. Sigrun gets to have her sword and her flowers. We like that. I like that because I think it's practical. And I think this outfit shows a practicality to this character. Since I didn't know who this character was before she came out in the bridal banner. That being said, I'm not understanding what's happening here. Like this bottom part. Okay, so she's got this veil, and this veil is really pretty, and then she's got the skirt, which seems to hit the floor. But then there's sort of this underskirt that's longer than the rest of her outfit. So I think this this outfit is supposed to be practical, but then it's also not practical at all. Because I think for me, I would constantly be stepping on that underskirt. It would never lay flat the way it does here. This is, like, deceptively impractical, and I don't like it. All right, now Tanith has the same issue where Tanith has this sort of weird underskirt thing happening, but then she also has these really big chunky tassels that I don't like either. She also has a bouquet, but she has a bouquet lance, and I think it works well for her. Like it's not it's like, "Oh, she does have her flowers, but it's fine." Um I don't like that neck. That neck is not right for me. We again have detachable sleeves, but the way that this is set up, I'm not immediately like, ugh, detachable sleeves. It's all like, oh, she's got sleeves. One thing I would like to see on these bridal banners is veils. Like, I don't like these sort of veily head clips that are happening. Like, I don't know. Like, I think for me personally, looking through all these things, I think I would want a veil. And I think that's okay that I would want a veil. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, so uh, Micaiah has that big chunky red ribbon and it's got like uh, that overskirt happening but I genuinely love this one her flowers are beautiful like the the, um, the flowers like the bouquet that's really beautiful and I think if I was um, actively designing my flowers at the moment I would definitely look at something like this as inspiration I, I will say that does look at the flowers for like a red mage and not like a colorless mage like she is I will say I don't like the very top of her neck. I think it's sort of choking in a way, but I think it, she wears it well. But I think the thing that I'm really happy about is that her sleeves aren't detachable. She just doesn't have like these big leg warmer, arm warmers on her, on her sleeves. I think, could you remove the long sleeves and it would be okay? Yes, but I don't hate it with the sleeves. So that's a victory on this dress designer and this artist's part. Uh, I also like uh, that I also like this this version of her a lot just because um, Soth is there 
and I did like ship them a little bit. I'm not like, um, I didn't play Tellius like that, but I do, from what I've seen of them in Heroes, I do like them a lot together. And also she got to keep her birds again. We love a girl who gets to keep her birds. All right, uh, let's bridal Nyla. And um, I'm here for the veil. She gets a veil this time, but we have definitely, um, we have definitely returned to the feathered overskirt in a way that we didn't have with Micaiah. We have this big, uh, I get it because she's a beast unit and I love the bouquet because the bouquet is more like wild flowery. And I think out of all the bouquets I've seen in this uh, slideshow so far, that bouquet is my favorite. That being said, I cannot stand anything else about this dress. There's a lot of, there's a lot more color than I think I would like. Um, I like the dip dye on the bottom, but I don't think I would like a whole different colored skirt. Like I'm, it's white. I, I would like it to be white. Um, but other than that, I think the, um, I think the veil and the flowers are the real seller here. And I do have bridal Nyla, but I don't use her. Uh, oh, bridal Juno. All right, so now we have a mermaid dress. We have not seen a mermaid dress so far. Um, she's super cute. I like her flower. Uh, again, I like her flowers. Um, I kind of, I don't like that sort of choky thing, that choker thing that a, a lot of them have, except for on Juno. I think it goes with the flower in her hair. It go, like I think it's very, very good. I like this outfit a lot. And um, if I was to try a mermaid dress, if somebody handed me this and like, this is your mermaid dress tryout, I would definitely be like, hey, aces, put me in this dress. Let me see how it feels. Cause it looks comfortable. I will say though, that this sort of big ribbon thing that does feel like a lot, I'm not really sure where it comes from, but at the same time, I don't hate this design at all. Okay, so this is Bridal Shanna. I love the fact that this girl finally has an alt. This girl has waited five years. She deserves it. I like that she's a bow unit. Um, I like that the bow is sort of her flower thing. That being said, I think she has Sanaki vibes in the sense of this girl is not supposed to be a bride. She's supposed to be a kid dressing up as a bride for the festival. She's not... This is not something I think I would get married in. I think this is something that I would like go to prom in. I love this. Um, if I was to take anything away from this dress specifically, it's this blue underskirt thing. I don't like the length of it, but I do like the color. I think if I was going to be like, hey, I want like a big roughly underskirt, I would want that underskirt to be a different color. But I like the I like that the year four and the year five um, and even a, the year threes to an extent have this... Um, have um there's a there's less of an emphasis on the big fluffy overskirts and there is more of an emphasis on s details that work well for the character i like shanna's all right here we got two dresses here we got two dresses and they are they look kind of the same they have the um, yeah they, they kind of look the same we have um we have just A-line dresses, uh, no feathery overcoats. Um, Catria has these um, these little hip things here. But other than that, though, she looks great. Um, I will say one thing that the Shanna and Ju the Year 5 brides have is this sort of triangle thing. It's like the opposite of a sweetheart top. And I, didn't, and I think the sweetheart top is really traditional, but at the same time, I also feel like that... And I'm not really a traditional bridal style kind of person, but I also think that neckline is not my favorite. I don't even think it's that flattering. I think it works on them because they're anime people and it's made to look flattering on them. Another thing is that what we're getting here is two version, two colored versions of the same dress. Like uh, even Katria looks like she's got these gold things. I think this is, they're, they're the same color, but I think that this has more like light blue elements. This has more dark blue elements because it's supposed to go with their hair. Um, she has pink flowers. She has orange flowers. I think color wise, I like both of them. And I, um, I like the shoes actually here a lot because I feel like um, for me personally, I don't like to wear heels unless they have straps like character shoes or like T-strap shoes or something like that. So I think that's what I would want. But that being said, I think that um, I don't like that they pull the skirts up because I would want to see how it falls. 
that being said though i do think that these uh these outfits are more comfortable and more sensible they're probably lighter than some of the year one stuff and i've heard that bridal dresses can be like five to ten pounds and i can't imagine carrying like a 10 pound dumbbell on my body the whole day i can lift a 10 pound dumbbell for any length of time but could i wear one all day maybe but it would probably be uncomfortable these dresses look lighter they look breezier i think if the um if the neckline weren't so pointy i think it would be okay i do like um this is another one where it's like the chokers aren't killing me like they're not they're not upsetting to me as they would be as they would be on like an earlier on an earlier version a, a, an earlier bridal alt version i will say there are these headbands these headbands here and if i was to pick one i actually like the thicker one i like catria's so i do think that catria's outfit might be better than thea's but i also think that's the point because this is catria's all and thea is just the cheerleader all right so i don't know if i learned anything and i don't know if you learned anything but i do know i had fun just kind of talking about dresses because um and i also think i found like a pattern that's that the the bridal alt artists are sort of going with they have they all have these detachable sleeves they all have like this sort of overskirt thing happening they all have that overskirt um they all have this sort of feather thing happening and they all have these chokers from what i can tell they all have some kind of choker and out of all of the chokers i think uh ninians is my favorite and i have to and i think i have to um concede here to my favorite bridal all being ninian i mean i bought the format for a reason she's beautiful she she carries that sort of natural vibe that the bridal that the earlier bridal alts with the big ballroom gowns and like and the sort of overblowingness of it all like tharjas um i will say thar for tharjas i do like these sort of small details but i think as a general bridal look if i was to if i had no choice but to pick one of these dresses as my wedding dress next year it would have to be ninians i like i think every detail on ninian is perfect at least for me like even the the ribbon because you know how they all have this sort of big sash ribbon happening or um they all have the same elements but they're all the, of their dresses where they have like these the big overskirts and the detachable sleeves and the choker and the headband and maybe a veil out of everything so far ninians is my favorite so i think ninian is the big winner here and i might want to see dresses that have this sort of shape or even this sort of color scheme with this sort of um iridescent veil happening um louise doesn't have a choker so that's something neither does fjorm but everybody else seems to all right well um i think that's it i think i don't really have that much more to say um i think this was um enlightening and interesting and i might want to try this again with another kind of alt where I just sort of um, talk about like the similarities between them and the differences and what I like about them and what I don't like about them and what would I wear and what wouldn't I wear? What would I cosplay and wouldn't I cosplay? Um, I think out of all of the, as for a cosplay thing, I think if I was going to wear Ninian like more seriously, like something like a Ninian's more seriously as a bride, I think if I was going to go for a cosplay, I would want it to be Micaiah's. I would want it to be uh, Micaiah's because I think it's, it looks easy to wear for a convention because it like there's no detachable sleeves um i don't i didn't i don't remember seeing her shoes and i and i had to wear practical shoes under there i could have uh, anthony with me and dress up as soth and that could be um that could be an e like an easier more fun way to um to do the cosplay as like the full duo unit and also anthony whenever i've done a cosplay he's always gone without a cosplay just to make sure that like, i don't forget something or like if he sees me like going too hard with like with people asking me for pictures and i don't like stop and take a rest he always makes sure i like stop and take a rest that being said though i really hope that this was fun for y'all um i think uh i've learned a little bit i might want to revisit this again and I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.